Good morning, guys. I, my son's playing Star Wars in the background, if you can hear it, by the way. Um, I'm just getting ready for work. I have to teach finals, or not really teach anymore, but we're doing finals at the college today. So I'm getting ready for work, and I just put my makeup on. I am obsessed with this lipstick. I've worn it like 10 times for like different events and stuff and I love it. It's the Tarte Color Splash lipstick in the shade um, Set Sail. I love it. Like seriously, a perfect color for me. And honestly, it's my go-to when I want my lipstick to look good all day. And when it wears, it wears away so nicely. It's, I love it. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish getting ready and go up to the college and get my teaching on and then come home. My son's school was canceled today because we got like eight inches of snow, which is a little annoying because my husband couldn't call off work and now I have to take him up to the college with me. So hopefully it's gonna be good. I gotta go pack him some snacks, pack myself a lunch and get on with this day. So yeah, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Well, not in a little bit, later tonight when I get home from teaching. Well, hello friends. It is, I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. 17.08, 5.08 in the afternoon. I'm exhausted. I've been at work all day. Um, I taught at the college today and Carter came with me. He was really, really good actually. Now he's playing video games and I decided to bring you in my bathroom because I need to wash my brushes. It's been like a hot minute and I just, I can't stand my brushes being dirty anymore because every time I go to use them, I use my little, um, like, color change thing. It's from Swispers. It's from, like, Walmart. And it works really well, but I can't use it on all of my, like, big brushes, too. So... I was actually watching Jax Lorraine. Um, her name is actually Jacqueline, but why am I thinking it's not all of a sudden? No, it's Jackie. It's Jackie, I'm sorry. Her name is Jackie, and her channel's name is Jax Lorraine, and she actually recommended this Yes to Tomatoes bar soap, and I picked it up to wash my brushes to try. Normally, I would do a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap hot water, like just like a cup of hot water, and a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of like white vinegar and just let my brushes sit and then, you know, wipe them off on my little brush bar that I'll show you guys in a minute. But I figured I would try this little soap. She swears by it. She says it's exactly like the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. So I'm going to give it a try. It's brand new and I figured I'd show you guys before I did this. I know I'm on a no buy or low buy, but I don't have any kind of solid cleanser and I'm really not fully happy with how my brushes were the last time because they just smelled like vinegar and that's just not my like thing and the dogs are working so I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes and yeah I'll just let you guys come along with me and watch I guess because that's what I'm doing today I don't know I don't feel like making like a formal video today I don't feel like making a formal video today so I'm kind of just rolling with this so let's see where I can push you guys to uh, make this make sense for you. Okay guys, so this is all of the brushes that I have to wash. I have tons of big ones on the top and tons of little ones. Like I said, I haven't, brought you, I haven't washed my brushes in a long time. So those are all the brushes I need to wash. This is my like brush bar that I was talking about. It's from the brush bar. And basically it's got six different um, spots. So they're different on both sides. And some of them are better for different types of brushes and different like consistencies of the brushes, like some denser, some um, looser brushes. So this is really nice. And then you got a nice little handle here. And there's like a little like thumb, like ergonomic thumb spot here, what I really like. But I just hold this under the water and rub the brush on there. So I'm gonna soap it up with this, rub it on here to get it all clean and then see how it goes from there. I'm probably gonna put a towel down in my office slash beauty room or in my son's room to dry all the brushes. So yeah, let's get started.
So this one is one that I use every single day. It is the Love is the Foundation brush by It Cosmetics. I love this one. Look how freaking dirty that is. It's so dirty. I literally use it every day. So let's see how clean I can get this. Like, I don't even remember what color this is supposed to be on the top because it's so dirty. Like, look at all that. And that's not even soaping up yet. Like, there it is. It's nasty. So, here is that one all clean. And I always make them really, really small when I put them together because they fluff out really, really nicely. So, that is perfectly fine with me. And that looks super clean compared to what it was. You guys saw all the nasty that came off of that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna finish up the big brushes and then I'll start going with the little brushes. Okay, so I'm in my son's room, and here are all the brushes laid out. I always fold up the towel like this so that you can kind of lay things on an angle. I'll show you. So see how everything is kind of laying downward at an angle? Um, you don't want the water to get in the ferrule of the brushes, so you always should dry them kind of downward, but I always make sure the bristles like when I lay it down, I make sure the bristles are down, so I lay it down and I go like this and I kind of slide it up so that when you lay it down, the bristles aren't going to be the wrong way. So I have them all the way from my large brushes all the way down to my smaller brushes. Um, yeah, and then I dry this as well. I wash it and dry it as well with all my other stuff. So yeah, that is what I do and then I keep everything right here so that I can easily clean it up first thing in the morning. Um, technically I probably shouldn't do this in my son's room but it will work out fine because he's just going to sleep all night and then I'll come and get it before he wakes up. So yeah, that is my brush collection I guess and how I clean my brushes. So yeah, I feel like a lot of them got super, super clean which I'm really, really happy with because they were getting pretty nasty. So there it is. Now I'm going to do my, like, after taking off my makeup routine, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but I'm just going to show you what I do when I take off my makeup and what face washes I use. So you guys know at the end of the night I use my Neutrogena makeup, removing, makeup remover cleansing towelettes. Um, I always use these, honestly. I use them every single night. Only one pad is perfect for taking off my makeup on my face and then if I have really really hard to get off like eyeliner or whatever I will use this Clinique take the day off cleansing balm and here it is here it's not like my favorite product it did, it did get in my eye last night which was unfortunate but I use that when I have like a really hard eyeliner to get off so yeah, I'm going to get this off and then I'm going to wash my face right after and show you guys what I'm using. So, yeah. Good morning. It is the next day. It's like 7 in the morning. I'm about to get my son up for school. I know my hair is like a hot mess right now. But I just washed my face and I forgot to show you guys what I used last night to wash my face after I took my um, makeup off with my makeup wipes. So I'm going to show you guys that really quick and then I'll probably see you in a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to film today so I'm going to get up. Well, I'm up already. I've been up since like 6, 5.36. I get up early every day because I work early. So, But I don't work today except for a little bit at the college. I have to go and do a meet and greet and then we're going out to like a lunch dinner after. So that'll be really nice, which is another reason why I want to do my makeup. But 
I really want to film. I have quite a few ideas that I want to film today. I'm really excited about a few of them that I've been kind of putting off and putting off and now I'm like, no, I'm, I'm ready to film. I'm like, I'm so ready. So I'm in a good mood. I'm probably going to stop at Starbucks and get one of those chestnut praline coffees. Let me go show you guys what I use to wash my face. My son's still sleeping, so I really wanted to be quiet. But I use this... Um, First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser that I got and I love it. Oh, he's up. Good morning. So I'm back in the office because my son woke up and had to go to the bathroom, so I left from there. But anyways, I use this First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. It is amazing. Like, I will have like little teeny tiny like zits starting and then in the morning it'll be completely gone because I use this at night. I love this like i'm gonna have to buy more this is the only one i bought at the vib sale and i already know i love it i can pretty much tell for face products if i'm gonna like it or not right away i love this like literally i love it i need more because it's gonna run out really fast but i do have other face cleansers that i want to try but i'm gonna put that on my list because it's amazing Anyways, after I did that, I wait for my skin to completely dry, and I use the L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Toner. Um, I use this one when my face is exceptionally dry. Otherwise, I use my um, Platinum Skincare Anti-Aging Toner, but right now I used this one last night, and it worked beautifully. My skin was pretty hydrated afterwards. And then I'm going to go to my bedroom so I can show you what I used on my face last night so i was trying this um ole hendrickson is it is that how you pronounce it tell me if i'm pronouncing it incorrectly ula hendrickson is that how it is ula hendrickson um true serum so i use this during the day a couple different days and I used it like before my makeup a couple different days it does make my skin super soft but i noticed that i was starting to get like those micro zits, like those little teeny tiny bumps all over my face after like after the day was over when I was using this in the morning. So I switched and started using it at night after I toned my face and then I put this on and now I don't get those little micro bumps. So I think that this True Serum for me is a nighttime product. So if you've been using this during the day and you notice that you don't like it, Try it at night before you go to bed and without any makeup or anything on your face and it works beautifully. My skin is so soft. Like, my husband commented on it the other day and I've only been using it for a couple days. My skin is so incredibly soft. So try this if you guys have used it, been using it during the day. So I put that on my face, just like one pump. You don't want to do too much because it just... it. It doesn't work as well when you use too much. So just one pump is good. Anyway, so after that, I use my Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes Intense Treatment for aging and tired eyes. And it says apply to the entire eye area. This is like the little sample that it looks like. This little sample has lasted me so long. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's just like a yellowy type cream. I rub it all over my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes. You guys know I have easily irritated eyes um it doesn't irritate at all it doesn't itch it just leaves my eyes so soft and just like good looking i don't even have like those big bags under my eyes like i used to it's amazing i love that stuff at night i've been trying to use up this in my regular project pan it is the promise organic nourishing coconut milk facial lo lotion with hibiscus and i love this stuff it smells so interesting like i just love the smell of it but I've been using this every single night and same with this one as the true serum you really don't need much especially if you're just sleeping on it I mainly put like a big slather of it on my dry spots and then I'll just like kind of rub it all over the rest of my face and I do my neck as well and it seriously is so nice to wake up in the morning and then this morning all I did is just rinse my face with water just to get all the extra product and like sweat off my face. I don't use any products in the morning because I notice when I use products in the morning my skin is incredibly dry. So I just use that in the morning. So I'm going to cover up the bottom so that you guys don't see my progress but I use this Pixie by Petra um, 
what is it called hydrating milky mist in the morning I just spray that all over my face and then um, I use any kind of um, moisturizer but right now I've been working on this Paracone MD elemental energy hydrating cloud cream from my um, Sephora play box the month of November and I'm loving this it's amazing oh you can see my pictures in the background yeah um but it's amazing so you guys should definitely try that it's on my list to purchase actually so yeah that's what i'm gonna use and then i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'm gonna be back for filming so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i really appreciate you guys letting me know if you like this vlog if you want to see more vlogs or you know if this is not really your thing and you like me to stick with the more you know traditional type videos where they're just like sit down videos but yeah let me know and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> i have my cat and my dog zoe here as well to say goodbye but anyways we'll see you guys later bye